Dated by the findings of physicists who describe space as a field of intelligence, which confirms the theory of the collective unconscious proposed decades ago by Dr. Carl Jung. Research with biofeedback equipment has enabled us to measure brain activity showing changes that come with relaxation, another scientific fact consistent with the Silva approach. And thanks to new understanding of the brain's right hemisphere, the Silva method is accepted in almost every country in the world, and millions are successfully using the training. Does the Silva method help us to contact the other side? No, because we're already in contact with the other side. Does it give us special privileges with the other side? No. Nobody in the eyes of the other side is special. What then does the Silva method do? Simply stated, it helps us to use our natural contact with the other side effectively to make this a better world in which to live. Creation is the goal of the other side. The Creator is still creating, not only out there in space, but here on planet Earth. There are aspects of this planet that are still in the process of formation. Land masses are inching along. Volcanoes spew lava and add new land. Quakes reshape and reform. Erosion creates more usable flatlands. Brand new islands arise in the oceans. But the Creator needs man's help in creation. Man is necessary in the creation of a ship, an airliner, or a locomotive. The Creator needs man to fashion clothing, furniture, and homes. Man must be a co-creator in developing computers, energy sources, and industries. Is it possible that the other side is seeking to get more help from us humans? To make us better co-creators? The Creator may have provided the answer to this question. That answer may be in the New Age. And part of the New Age is the Silva Method. A Peek Behind the Scenes Helen H. was receiving annoying phone calls from a rejected suitor. He wouldn't take no for an answer. So she bought a new phone with an on-off switch so she wouldn't be bothered at night, but he called her at work and all weekend. She felt he was following her. She even received unsigned letters that she was sure were from him. Helen decided she needed help in solving the problem. One evening after cleaning up the kitchen, she decided to enlist that help from the other side. She sat down on the living room couch, closed her eyes, took a few deep breaths, and in about a minute, Helen reopened her eyes. She felt great. She knew the problem was solved. It was. She was never again contacted by that man. What did Helen do during that minute? Well, it was the same thing that Arthur did when he decided he needed help from the other side in finding an apartment. His lease was in its last month and would not be renewed because the owner had sold the apartment. Arthur sat on a comfortable chair, closed his eyes, and took a few deep breaths. In about a minute, he opened his eyes. He felt good about his situation. He had that gut feeling that everything would work out well, and it did. The new owner called him shortly afterward. There would be a year's delay before he could move in. Would Arthur like to stay on? What did Helen and Arthur do while sitting with their eyes closed? Pray? No, not in the conventional sense, but they did contact the other side. They contacted the other side by slowing their brain waves in order to activate the right hemispheres of their brains. The right hemisphere of the brain is in connection to the creative realm. When we rely on the right brain hemisphere, we open ourselves up to the other side. But how do they slow their brain waves? How do they use the right hemisphere to get such immediate help from the other side? 32 hours of Silver Course training will answer these questions, or you can read this book from beginning to end and learn the method that Helen and Arthur found so helpful. Is it worth it? Uh, the simple answer is, what is an invisible means of support worth to you? The other side is just such a support. And with the other side on your side, there's no end to what you can do. Believe me, it is worth it. Why we need help from the other side. Somewhere along the path of evolution, humankind made a wrong turn. We lost our way and became separated from our source. We became hypnotized by the physical world. Our senses now dominate our lives. For most of us, there's nothing else except the physical world of bodily pain, bodily pleasure, bodily comfort.